Alright, here we have the limit as x approaching 0 and we have cosecant x minus cotangent x. And this is going to be a pretty weird one at first because if you just look at cosecant x, which is 1 over sine x, and if you put 0 into there, you get 1 over 0, so you should do like the left and also the right limit, right? But you know what? Don't worry about that yet. Let's actually combine these two first, you'll see. So this right here is going to be the limit as x approaching 0, and this is just 1 over sine x, and this is just cosine x over sine x. There we go. So in fact, we can just put them together as a fraction. Remember, we prefer to see fractions when we are completely limits because for Laplace's rule, we want either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity if necessary to use Laplace's rule. So you see, this is going to be the limit as x approaching 0. Alright, 1 minus cosine x over sine x. Ah, feel much better. Because when we put 0 in here, cosine 0 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. Put 0 here, sine 0 is 0. Laplace's rule. So, let me just indicate that for you guys real quick. 0 over 0, Laplace's rule. And then ddx, just to show you guys that we are going to take the derivative. And uh, here we have the limit. x is approaching 0. The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of negative cosine is positive sine. Because that negative, right? And then, right here, the de derivative of sine x is cosine x. Okay, so that's what we have. And the truth is, this is just tangent, but it doesn't really matter because we can just put 0 in here and we just get sine of 0 over cosine of 0. Just tangent 0. And it just gets 0 over 1. So the answer is equal to 0. Yep. We are done. Just like this.